So this is the original. <laughs> Nice. Right, I am going to walk you through the remake I made of Ben Boomer's, um, if anybody knows the the current title, let me know. Um, but for now, it's just called ID. Um, of course, it's not perfect. Um, I didn't spend too much time on the hi-hats. Um, you could do more. Obviously, you can do more. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm just done with it for now. I spent way too much time on this. Um, Anyway, let's take it from the top. Um, I don't have that exact bling, whatever you want to call it, intro sound, um, but I just made, um, I think, this little bit here. Um, yeah, that's the bass. Um, this sounds pretty cool, but you can hear it clear here. Of course, the main pluck. Um. bit more distortion on it um but you know it's cool for now and then i made the little um these little effects um i made everything from scratch just you know most people would just use like as a sound effect packs or whatever but you know if you want to make your own um i mean this obviously looks like a wave but i made it recorded it and then blah 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 um so that little thing here I'll show you how I made those. Um, maybe you can hear it in the tune. Where is it here? Yeah, it's not 100% accurate, but it's good, close enough. Yeah, these are all the same. What are these? Right, so nothing, nothing special. Um, wind noises and effects. So so i will start with the bass notes are fairly simple you know there you go and then when you play it now the semitones go up by two semitones so whenever you go uh, it plays and then So here it goes up, here it goes down, here it goes up. Adds a bit of movement, adds a bit of liveliness. It's pretty sweet. Uh, the patch, patch, preset, whatever you want to call it. Um, simple. This, uh, oh, there's two oscillators on. Oscillator one, when the shape is all the way to the right, this is actually a saw. So this this is a full, full volume. This is one octave down. Um, it's got unison. 
but it's 100% centered. So um, I've noticed that. I've never heard about um, <laughs> Ben before this before this song uh, was pointed out to me. Um, shout out to Kurt. But um, he, I've listened to a few of his tracks now, obviously, and uh, a lot of his stuff is completely mono. A lot of stuff is even just one uh, voice, but in this case, it's definitely unison, uh, not too what, not too detuned, but completely mono. Here, there's no filter modulation, anything like that. Cutoff is set to four forty six. Um, tiny bit of like a tiny bit of um release just so you don't get clicking noises and the same for the attack it's uh, when you set it around you know eight milliseconds it just cuts out that that you might hear at the start of the sound you know it's just a dumb bass but it sounds pretty sweet um what's next the kick ah uh, yeah so the kick is in a super bass heavy song, you can't have like big, massive, long uh, kicks because um, it'll interfere with the, with the bass. So it kind of has to be short and, um, where is it? Kick. Um, so it kind of has to be short and sweet. So when you mix the bass and the kick, uh, where's the side chain? Is that it? Oh, and I automated the side chain, so that's it's doing this. Um, could probably whatever. It's not doing a whole pile. Um, so yeah, that when you mix the two, the kick has to end fairly quick. Uh, freeze. The kick has to end pretty quick, so the bass has all the room to continue on. Um. And uh, this is a G sharp note. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Maybe G, um, but I think I think the G sharp just just got a little bit closer to what was in the original. Um, how I made it was pretty simple. It's just like anything else. Pretty simple sign. Uh, this is the volume envelope. You know, it's nearly a sixteenth. It's a little bit longer, and the pitch. Um, don't like that. It's a 70. See, that's just annoying. Bring it down to where it's, you know, comfortable. Fix the the slope. Um, that's all it is. Um, processing on it. A little bit of um, OTT for clarity. That's a little bit of punch. A tiny bit of bass extra. It distorts the highs a little bit. And a little bit of a boost. Um... EQ, <laughs> a lot of EQ. It just takes out the stuff you don't need. Like here is just that, that dirty, muddy sound. There's no need for that. All you need is the click and the sub, pretty much. Um, and then a tiny bit of limiting, just to probably just to control the volume. Yeah. Um, the bass, by the way. Um, because the bass is a unison bass, you probably couldn't hear me talk. You, uh, because that bass is a unison bass, because you have multiple voices stacked on top of each other, it can become uh, it can become quite. So you can see the volume dipping up and down and, you know, so to make your basses, um, you know, thick, fat, full, blah, 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 all the terminology, um, you just, I just put a limber on it. Yeah, like it, it's taken out quite a bit, but it's just to get a very consistent level of, of bass. A um, little bit of drive. Not doing much. Um, Soft clipper. I don't even know if this is doing anything. Yeah, it might be taking off half a dB or whatever. Just you can probably just leave that off. Um next. What's next? 
yes, the resonant lead. Very interesting sound. Um, it, it's look, it's pretty much just a saw, but it's got uh, a few peaks on certain harmonics. So if I play. I'll actually just play the first note just to make it obvious. So this is pretty much a saw waveform, heavily, heavily cut off, um, you know, after 2.3, 2.4 uh, kilohertz. Uh, but just these give it that, the, the, the character of the sound. Now, you could do this with an EQ, but you, I just couldn't get it right. So in this case, I took advantage of Citrus, um, where you can edit individual uh, sine waves. So if uh, I'll do the same here. So oscillator. Let's make that bigger. All right. So you could see pretty much exactly what's happening here. So just... All right, so convert to sine harmonics. This is what a saw is, right? It's just a ton of sine waves. Uh, if I turn this off. Um, oh, turn the whole off. Oh, that's so annoying that it does that. So it's got unison. And I'm sure there's a filter EQ in post. Right. So same thing happened here. Just cut it off with an EQ, even though you don't need to do it in here because it's cut off automatically here. Um, so once you have that uh, saw wave, you can edit it. And it was just these few harmonics that are just boosted. Um, and that one a little bit too. I mean, you're nitpicking, but um, that's what gives it the, the character of the sound. Um, so a little bit of EQ. I added more chorus to it, even though the chorus is in Citrus as well. Um, just for more thickening. Um, not essential. Reverb. Uh, I put the balance on it just because I know the volume's automated uh, and side chaining is applied to it too. So the side chaining is uh, side chain. So the side chain isn't applied at all here until here's with the kick. So with the Oh no, it is. Yeah, so the sidechain is off on these bits. It's on here. Yeah, is that's does the kick is on too? I don't know. That's just what it is in the original. So um the kick is off here, on here, off here. Um let me just play that song. It's only being dropped uh, by, you know, it leaves 30% of the volume. Um, it's not completely cutting it out. Uh, then. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, look, at the hi-hats hi -hats are not identical to the tune. I, I didn't want to spend hours and hours and hours and hours trying to get, you know, the right samples and get, it's, it's close enough. Um, there's a few interesting bits in it though. So if I, uh, this is all like hat and percussion-y stuff. Uh, is everything, anything muted? No. Right. Um.
that's going on. So, may the same synth one. Motherfucker. Here we go. Just a very simple... Uh, is it even a saw? It's a mixture. Oh, it's saws. Uh, filter envelope, is it? Short sound. A little bit of... 29. Doing nothing. Oh yeah, um, that's like adds rhythm to the song, but that's, you can hear that in the uh, original. If I only do this, yeah. Be handy if I turn that on too. Hmm. Again, I didn't want to look for hours for samples, so it's not like it's exactly the same, but it's um, it's made with white noise, I think. Yeah, mixer all the way to the right, made with white noise, and then you know, manipulating the filter to give it a like a again, like a plucky kind of sound, bit of drive. Um, I'm pretty sure I took this from a sound bank, is it that one? Or that one, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's like one of these, and then just kind of um, change it around a bit to make it fit better. Um, let me see here. Hey, what the. Ended up not using that, but uh, whatever. Um, I'll leave it in. Um, okay, so that is that. Obviously, the most important part is this. So one oscillator, I started with a saw, um, what percentage is this, 12-ish, um, and I just couldn't get the right character because it felt a bit more, uh, when you apply drive to a saw, it obviously comes becomes a bit more squarey, which is kind of like what happens if you change the wavetable position of a pulse. So I just played around with this, played around with the filter settings. I mean, I, I, I went back and forth and tried, you know, for ages and ages and ages. I settled upon this. Um, it's not perfect, but it's pretty close. Uh, it's just a pluck sound. Um, I'll actually, I'll clone it for now, just to play around. Yeah. Um... You can just see how that kind of shapes the sound. Um, added the key tracking. I'm assuming most people know what that is, obviously. But um, if you have it down here, the filter is set to a static point. So if you hit the, like, a, it's not particularly a low note, but this note, or whether you hit that note, the filter is set at the same thing, at the same frequency. When you put it up, um, leaves the filter set higher for higher notes so you can see that it, it, it's leave it letting through more frequencies here yet when you do this but when you have a lower note the filter is kind of cutting off here um which i'm pretty sure was in the uh 
was added to the original. It's just you add a bit of movement to the sound. That's how much the filter was working. Uh, unison, not too much, all the way uh, fully, full width enabled. Um, that's just what I did. Um, delete that. Then those were like just the notes. <laughs> I spent forever trying to get these notes right. Uh, mainly because, um, you know, I don't know, just it took me forever, especially because you're playing chords and notes on top of it. And, you know, one note might interfere with you hearing other notes. Um, either way, beside the point, um, these are the chords underneath it. Pretty sure these are accurate and um, I could be wrong this is actually the exact same as that um, so this is connected to this automation so it's just bringing up the volume yes I had that initially then I changed that because you could hear like more reverb in the sound here and then it's as if the reverb then obviously it doesn't cut out but the level of it gets less it's probably just to fill up uh, you know add some filler to the to the breakdown of the sound and um, i'll play it just to see if you can notice it from here on just kind of see if you can hear the reverb of the sound getting less here now maybe that's just me maybe it's because of the crowds making noise maybe because there's other effects in it that's to me kind of what it sounds like. Um, so this other automation um, is literally just uh, boosting the reverb uh, signal and then cutting it off. Um, this is just volume, you know, it's, 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 that's bringing up the volume of that one. It's not doing anything special. Um, shrink that down a bit. What is this? Oh yeah, you actually hear that in a few of his songs where that other, oh, that must be that one, is it? Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, there you go. Um, so it's like the same hat loop is kind of being used throughout the song. And then when the, the 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 beat kicks in, the 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 main part, so to speak. Here, hold on, where is it here? You can hear that offbeat hi hat coming. Out. Um. So yeah, that's that. Then you have all these special effecty kind of sounds. Um, this one first. So what this is, it's set all the way to the right, which is noise. It's white noise. Um, it's a long sound, so I'm assuming this is doing nothing. Uh, so it's probably all about this. No, I'm wrong. Ah, there you go. It's the resonance is all the way up. Um, and the track is all the way up. So just like in the earlier example, when you hit a higher note, the resonance of the filter is set here when you hit a lower note. So there's no, it's not a sign, it's just white noise. Um, and it, I think it's actually, the way I've set it here, so 163 actually corresponds with the note. So I'm hitting a C. Yeah, I see I'm hitting a C here too, which is kind of cool. Uh, and then another, oh, a higher C. Yeah, still same C. So with this, you can actually make uh, tuned, um, you know, sounds like this. Um, next, what's this one? That 
it's not exact, obviously, but um, the way I did it, you could do this in a few ways with automation, pitching the sound up. Uh, however, what I did... Right, so I must have... What I did was, by hitting that note, I've moved the pitch down really quick with this, right? So it's controlling... Uh, the pitch is being controlled by the envelope, this one. Uh, this is the amount. Um, I probably should have done it where I put automation to pitch the sound up, but I just did it our ways. Um, yeah, just a simple sound. It's just, it's just a saw. And then... Oh, I took that off. EQ'd it like that, added reverb. Ah, uh, no, so what it, yeah. So what I ended up doing is I would have saved it as a wave file here, reversed it. Um, so that's it now. So it's literally just the opposite. So you just hear at the very end where it pitches up, which is exactly the other way around as we're doing here. Um, most of these sounds are actually just the fairly simple saws, but they fill up the sound nicely. Um, G drone. G drone. That's a wave. Sub. Oh, I played two notes here for that. Um, must have heard that in the original too. So there you go. Um, yeah, they're just simple notes. Um, you know, I just probably would have played a note, added reverb to it, reversed it. Just that simple. Um, exact same principle just a lower note you know filter it to taste to, to where you like it these are all the same notes i'm assuming yep what is this that's that one again interesting uh, another saw Right, so all that's super simple stuff, but without it. That one's interesting. Still just a saw, cut off very low. Um, yeah, there you go. This one I really like. Um, so what's happening here is white noise, um, which you can't hear because I'm sure some filtering is going on. Volume, there you go, volume's all the way. Right. Um, So it's going to a ping pong delay, um, you know, whatever. Then this, the cutoff is being, or the bandpass filter is making this movement. So like this. And then all this is doing is make pushing up the volume. Um, pretty sweet. And then this would have been um, 
just played white noise through, you know, probably some reverb and stuff, uh, maybe a hint of EQ. Um, and then I think this is only used, oh, it's used twice. Uh, a symbol is being used here. And I'll show you that in the song. Hmm, you actually still kind of hear it here, although because there's reverb on it, it actually drags it along more. It's yeah, it's nice. And then the EQ, the um, this goes through a side chaining thing as well, so that when the it doesn't interfere with the kick. Not that cymbals really interfere with them, but you just clear it up and add some movement to it. Yeah. Um, and then this bit. Now you could probably add white noise to the pluck. And as the filter opens, you hear it more. Um, I did it separate, so. That's pretty much it. There's another, well, there's a sub here, but you know, there's. The difference with this sub is that because you're in, um, because you're in the breakdown of the tune, you can have more movement. It's actually, it kind of adds uh, adds life to your track. So this is limited. The, the crap's limited out of this. This actually, you're leaving that dynamic range um, open here, so to speak. Uh, which is also definitely ha happening in, uh, in the original. Um, but other than that, it's... Um, where is it? Here it is. Again, saw wave one octave, the second oscillator one octave down. Um, you know, nothing fancy. That's it. Ooh. I'm just going to take a bit more off that to get that clickiness out. Nice. So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed it.